Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Sean Hester with Revisto. Uh, I work in the, the um, implementation department and um, just wanted to walk you guys through our chat column today in the issue tracker. So again, thanks for joining me and I'm gonna hop on in here. Now, I'm on the issue tracker side of uh, Revisto right now. Um, so the issue tracker side of our, our integrated collaboration platform and this is going to be our chat column right here now we have four columns within the issue tracker we have the filters we have the lists of issues we have the uh the chat column as i said and then we also have the information column now when i come into the issue tracker for the first time i'm always going to be utilizing our our filters here and that's going to be in another session one that you guys have probably already watched but that allows me to get down to some more digestible chunks of issues that I have in my project okay now we're gonna look at the chat function today all right now what the chat does is it allows us to track the information within the issue itself now whether that is me chatting and and literally chatting here right adding adding a comment within the issue itself so need some additional information okay pretty simple pretty straightforward and we've already changed the status of this issue to in progress already, which means that we're already waiting on some information, right? You can see that I've added that comment. Revisto's tracking who added the comment and when they added the comment. Now, this chat is also going to record any changes to the information column within the issue. So what that means is if I change this assignee to Brett, now you can see that that's changed. You'll see Brett is now listed as the assignee and Revisto's following along who changed that and when they changed it. We can also add some additional information to the issue itself via the little paper clip down here. We can add files, take a photo if we're on our iPad. We can add 360 photos and we can also add some, some documents from our docs integration, whether that's from Box, Procore Docs or um, BIM 360 Docs. I'm going to add a file here real quick just to give you guys an idea of, of what happens. Okay, so I'm going to add this photo. I already took the photo. I didn't have my iPad with me. I just took a quick photo. Um, so we're going to add that to the issue. Now what's great is we added this edit functionality to the photos, which means that I can now annotate this uh, photo here within the issue tracker. Okay. And now I'm going to hit send, and this is now going to be attached to the issue, again, via this chat column. So Revisto is now keeping tabs on that as well within this issue. We can also utilize some buttons here at the top. First one's going to be our search. Okay. Now, if I'm just simply looking for Brett's name, this is going to show me all the changes that have Brett's name associated with it, with, uh, with this issue. Pretty straightforward. I can also search or not search, excuse me. I can also filter within the chat here. So I can filter just user comments, right? Any comments that are added within the issue. I can search for attachments. Here you see that attachment that I just added. Any field changes, that's gonna be the changes made here to the information column. Or I can look at any markups that have changed. And that's gonna be markups that are taking place over here in the view side of the issue when you're updating 3D, updating that section, and then utilizing that to create some annotations or just simply adding an, an additional snapshot within the issue itself. And that's it guys. Thank you very much for jumping on today and taking a look at this uh, tutorial uh, regarding the chat column within the issue tracker. Uh, look forward to um, having you guys jump on and see some of our other tutorials that we have uh, in Revisto here.